Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for a new unboxing and review. Today it's Captain Marvel from Avengers Endgame. I have been waiting for that figure for quite some time. Unfortunately, I was part of the last batch of pre-orders that Sideshow Collectibles shipped. That's quite frustrating all the more since I had the same thing happen with the Captain Marvel figure from her solo movie. Though I'm not going to complain too much since uh, my pre-orders of Boba Fett, uh, Iron Man, Mark 85, Captain America and Mendo were part of a first batch of pre-orders that Sideshow Collectibles shipped. So, well, you know, that's fine. Uh, but still, waiting for Captain Mom figure twice <laughs> is annoying. Anyway, first let's talk about the box. It's the usual Avengers Endgame box design, which means you have a promotional drawing of the character, the Avengers logo, the title card of the movie, and the name of the character. The two main colors on the box are blue and red because of Captain Marvel's outfit. On the sides you have Cap Captain Marvel's logo and uh, the Avengers symbol. Behind you have some information about the product. On the other side you have once again the Captain Marvel symbol and the Avengers symbol. Then when you remove the first part of the box you can see the figure and at the back another Avengers logo. So now let's take a look at the accessories. She doesn't come with as much accessories as the first Captain Marvel figure. It makes sense though as this is not a Dalek's version. First we'll take a look at the display base and then we'll talk about the other accessories. It's your usual Avengers Endgame display base, so you have Captain Marvel's symbol, the Avengers logo, the title card of the movie, and the nameplate. The main colors on the base are yellow and blue. Yellow for the color of Captain Marvel's symbol, and blue because there's a lot of blue on her costume. As for the stand, it's a dynamic stand. If you want to know how to avoid damaging your figures with dynamic stands, I'll drop a link in the description down below to my video about dynamic stands. You have eight hands, two closed fist hands, two open hands, Two open fighting hands, and two closed fist energy hands. With that you have some blue energy effects and two blue bracelets to go with the hands. It's exactly the same effects as the solo movie Captain Marvel figure. Except for that one, the fist effects were yellow, while here they're blue. And the bracelets were orange, while here they're blue. They adapted them to our, our energy fields look in Avengers Endgame. And finally you have an Infinity Gauntlet. It's the same sculpt as the gauntlet that came with Hulk, except this time it's damaged and it's not one that a figure can wear. It can only be carried as an accessory. And as you can see, it also has a LED light up feature. However, it's not the best one because, well, you can see this stone here, here, and here, but the others are not as light up, which is a little bit too bad. Anyway, now let's take a look at the figure. I'm a big fan of Captain Marvel. I love the character in the comics and in the MCU. I think Brie Larson is such a talented actress 
and she was the right person for the role. Any Hot Toys figure of that character is a must buy for me. The suit itself is very similar to the solo movie, except the color pattern is totally different. For the solo movie, blue was the predominant color, while for the endgame version, it's red. The endgame outfit also features a sash on her belt. That's a classic element from her costumes in the comics. I prefer this color pattern, though I prefer her haircut from the solo movie. So far, my favorite Captain Marvel look in the MCU is in Shang-Chi. She does appear in a mid credits scene. That look is her outfit from Endgame with an haircut closer to the solo movie. I don't know if that's going to be your look in the Marvels, but if it is, it's dope. Hot Toys, I'll be waiting for the figures of that movie when the time comes. Because it's a similar outfit, they used the same type of material as the first Captain Marvel figure. Thus, I don't recommend leaving the figure in the same action pose for a long period of time. Be careful with how you display your figure. Now, let's take a closer look at the figure. Once again, the boots are made of two pieces of plastic, which means you have a full feet articulation. They removed the plastic knee pads, and this time it's just a piece of fabric on the pants. It's how it is in the movie. As you can see, the main part of the outfit is red, and they added blue pieces of fabric, which gives the outfit some volume. The sash is made of pleather. The shoulder pads allow better articulation range this time. Overall, the suit is an improvement over the first version of the figure for articulation range. It's the small changes of the suit that allowed Hot Toys to give us a better articulation range. The torso also uses our plastic, but not as much as last time. As you can see, although the two figures have a very similar outfit, you can see some clear differences between the two. And just like the first figure, you also have a LED light-up feature for the arms. It's just for show, but it's something that looks cool as usual with the LED light-up feature. As for the head sculpt, it was made by Jang So Young and painted by Hidi and Ji Si Hong. I think it's spot on in terms of Brie Larson's likeness. You definitely recognize her. Another amazing head sculpt. I love how they sculpted the hair, it's slick. And this time the hair paint is a lot better. On the solo movie figure, it was a little too brown. Here, it's the right shade of blonde. We got some great improvements for this figure. This time, the head and neck are just one piece, so it's less articulation, but it does look better. You can move the head like this, look down, look up, and look on the sides. By the way, if you were wondering if the solo movie head sculpt fits on this body, it doesn't. It's not the same pegel. That really tells you work has been done on the body and it's not just a repaint. In terms of articulation for the rest of a figure, you can move the arms like this, like this, like this. You can also move the hands. You can move the legs like this, like this, this, and you can move the feet. Now let's see some poses.
As a big fan of Captain Marvel, this is a fantastic figure with some improvements over the solo movie figure. The Edsculpt is amazing. For me, it's a must have. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!